Begin by cleaning plastic and vinyl with 39362 SEM soap and a gray scuff pad. Scrub thoroughly and pay close attention to textured or recessed area. Wipe away residue with a clean, damp cloth and dry. Next, clean vinyl with 38343 Vinyl Prep. If working on plastic, use 38353 Plastic and Leather Prep. Spray on and wipe away residue in one direction with a clean, lint-free, damp towel. Clean carpet and velour with a quality upholstery or carpet shampoo and allow to dry. Then apply 38353 Plastic and Leather Prep and scrub lightly with a nylon bristle brush to remove oil, grease, and contaminant. Allow surface to dry and vacuum. Mask off any areas you want to protect from overspray. If the type of plastic is unknown, place a few drops of acetone or apply a small amount of 38363 sand free on the back of the plastic and rub it with your finger. If the plastic smears or melts, use 38363 sand free for your adhesion promoter and we'll use 38363 sand free. Apply color coat using light coats allowing 5 to 10 minutes flash time between coats. When vinyl manufacturers use a high amount of plasticizers, they may bleed and leave a tacky feeling on the coated surface. Apply 39644 tack free over the affected area to eliminate this problem. When working with carpet and velour, immediately after each coat, brush in all directions with a nylon brush to keep the fibers separated. After final coat is dry, brush again and vacuum. Even though color coat may be dry to the touch, the substrate should not be subjected to heavy abuse or abrasion for 24 hours. Color coat is not a dye, but a fade resistant, flexible and permanent coating. The unique formula maintains the texture and feel of the surface to be coated. Color coat aerosols are available in 50 OEM colors. Color coat is also available in gallon and quart mixing systems that allow for endless color combinations.